Good evening, and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Maya, and this is my co-anchor, Noah. Bringing you the news that matters most to you. And because you, the viewers, matter to us, we make sure to read all of your comments and requests. And many of you have been asking to hear news which is more positive. Indeed, so much of the news today is very negative. It's always great to hear something hopeful for a change. So we sent our faithful street reporter Angela out into the streets of Hackensack in search of some positive, hopeful news. Hi, this is Angela reporting to you live from the corner of Anderson, Union, and Ward Streets in Hackensack. Hi Angela, can you tell us if you found anything positive over there? I have. I found a community of people who have good news to share with people. Wow, sounds like a huge story. So are their sources reliable? And do we know if their news is true? They say it's directly from the Bible. Well, you can't find a more thankful or dependable source than that. That's like God speaking directly to us. So, Angela, do these people have a Bible with them? No, Maya, but they are all direct witnesses and claim they have many verses memorized. Is that even reliable? Well, I memorized the verse when I was younger, and I still remember it. <clears throat> it goes, I will med meditate on thy precepts and regard the ways I shall delight in the status. I shall not forget the word. Psalms chapter 119 verse 12. Well, let's hear the good news then, shall we? Hi there, you say you have some good news. All people have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Well, that's not such good news, Angela. Sounds like doom and gloom for every person out there. Surely there's one person out there who is good. Well, let's check out that fact. James 10 says that a person might keep all of God's laws, but if, it, but if he breaks one command, he is guilty of breaking all commands. Oh dear, is there any help then, Angela? Let's find out. Here's someone to report on that. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says, But God proves his love for us in that while we still were sinners, Christ died for us. We're still talking about death here. How can death be good news? Have anything to add to this? The payment for sin is death, but God gives us the free gift of eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23 Now that's better. It can't get any better than eternal life. Okay, but they're still talking about death. How does this exactly work? What's the news on that? 1 John 4 verse 10 says, And this is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his own, his son to die for our sins. So Jesus' death can be payment for our sins. That's exactly right. But news has it each person must decide for themselves if they will ask for this forgiveness for their sins. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. What exactly does that mean we should do? That if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him for the, from the dead, you will be saved, for one believes that with the heart and is so made right with God, and one confess with the mouth and so is saved. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, and generous to all who call him, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Wow, that is good news for everyone. Am I hearing right? Besides eternal life with God, one will also get God's riches? Apparently, eternal life also comes with a guaranteed inheritance. So it is with you. You heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvations, and believed in him were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the guarantee of our inheritance as promised by God. This will bring full freedom to the people who belong to God 
to bring praise to God's glory. Sounds too good to be true. Anything more? Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away, so everything has become new. And there's more. Romans chapter 5, verse 1 says, Therefore, we have been made right with God because of our faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace, that's something we don't hear about a whole lot. And are you sure this is all free? The word on the street says it is. You have been saved by grace through faith. You do not save yourselves. It was a gift from God. It was not the result of works, so no one may boast. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. So there is a good reason why it is free. I've never heard such good news. And how can one be so sure that they have all of this? Where is the proof? I came across these witnesses with their personal testimonies. We know that we live in God and God lives in us. We know this because God gave us his spirit. 1 John 4, 13. And though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that cannot be explained and is filled with glory. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith in the salvation of your souls. This has been Angela in Hackensack with the good news from the people themselves. Thank you for that, Angela. And this has been Maya and Noah. Hoping that this good news keeps spreading worldwide. We thank thee then, O oh Father, for all things bright and good the seed time and the harvest, our life, our health, our food. No gifts have we to offer, for all thy love imparts, but that which thou desirest, our humble, thankful hearts. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above, so thank you, Lord, oh thank you, Lord, for all your love. Amen.